All right, so uh, getting this hood wrapped up on the 706. Um, kind of stinks. Uh, I guess it worked out a little bit, but my hood bolt for the back is actually underneath this. I didn't drill top bolts um, just for the simple fact of this is not a very good hood. Uh, it's got dents and stuff and um, maybe someday it will actually be uh, taken off and you know painted right you know and finished up what have you. I uh, still don't know what I'm going to do about my side panels and uh, oh here's one over here I'll show you. In the last video I was talking about having the double farmall emblem and I was pretty close if you go back and watch it or if you watched it where the uh, <laughs> You know, it'll be double, uh, double branded, you know, so, but I've got to figure something out for, for an extension, you know, and I don't know if I'll just use a little piece of, you know, like a piece of something I cut off this hood or what, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's where I got with it. Uh, it doesn't fit too bad. The gap on the. Uh, well, I'll show you. I'm not proud of it, but I've never really had to cut something with such a curve uh, Remember I was talking about that fit and finish. Yeah, terrible just despicable the top and the other side are good, but I'm trying to cut this thing with a grinder and a cutoff wheel and The weird part is is this gap right here like the edge of this to this emblem is the same on both sides I measured it so for some reason this emblem is farther forward because I was trying to use that as as a guide. Um, but yeah, it fit the front okay. Uh, it kind of doesn't here, and I don't remember that being that way on my other one. Uh, but I was going to show you what I used to to cut the new exhaust hole, and uh, I measured it and I eyeballed it, and. My eyeball measurement was actually about an eighth inch farther back this way. And I should have went with that because I used like this right angle framing square thing uh, to basically sit in there, you know, and, and get an idea for, you know, and I marked it. As you can see there, maybe. Yeah, I marked it uh, to try to to measure and, and get it more precise but uh, it turns out I should have just went with what I eyeballed but that's okay I mean I'm, I'm satisfied with that uh, I've got to get a clamp on this because it's I've never had a clamp it's always bounced around on there it's actually started to started to I know the lights not good it started to rub into the manifold and I don't I don't like that uh, well what I was gonna say is this is what I used to cut that with. Uh, I went out and bought this. It's a mortar 4 inch. Uh, the cup was like, I don't know, $32 with the arbor and the bit was like 6 bucks. Uh, but even with my little tiny snap-on drill, it uh, it did really good. I mean, that's, that's all I use, a little tiny drill like that. Uh, and it cut right through it. I mean, it melted through it and I was like, wow. It did a fantastic job because I did not know for the life of me how I was going to get that cut in a circle without making it look terrible. Uh, still haven't fixed this bolt. Going to do that today. One thing I did the other day I didn't show is I put any tie rod on. Uh, there's the old one laying down there. It was just seized. I didn't need this part. Just the tie rod was bad. Uh, but I beat on it, beat on it, beat on it. Tried heating it up. And couldn't get it, couldn't get it broke free. And yes, I have a giant mess. I cannot wait to get this tractor off the porch and get cleaned up. Hopefully, the tarp has kept most of the, most of the crud off the concrete, I guess. But uh, yeah, just an update on what's going on. Like I said it's raining. I did pick up all the wiring and stuff I needed for the B275, which is still over there in the side of the yard. Uh, so I'm going to go through the glow plug wiring, redo it. i got to take a measurement for this battery and figure out what size battery actually goes there. I think it's like a, a E30 
3C or something like that. Uh, group 3 battery. The problem is, is the 12 volt one I found only had 500 cranking amps. And I don't think 500 cranking amps is going to turn this engine over fast enough. I mean, it might if it's real warm out, but not, not in the winter time. So, anyways, if you watch to the end, I appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. Uh, support the channel. Because uh, i got a lot coming. Uh, I'm going to be planting, hopefully, corn, definitely beans, and then a whole lot of hay. All with old equipment because, well, that's, that's just what we can afford to to get, you know. So, uh, like I said, if you watched to the end, I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. If you got any suggestions, uh, put those in the comments. If there's anything you'd like to see, put those in the comments. And uh, until next time.